Hello student, this is a series of lectures in the subject of principles of chemical engineering for the first year chemical engineering students. Our short lecture here is about dimensions and units. Dimensions are our basic concepts of measurement such as length, time, mass, temperature, the units are the tools and the means of expressing the dimensions. You can use, for example, meter, foot, yard, kilometer in order to expressing the dimension of length. You can use the units of seconds, year, day, minutes in order to expressing the dimension of time. You can use kilogram, pound, milligram uh, to expressing the dimensions of mass. We have two famous and commonly used systems of units. These are the International System of Units, SI systems, and American Engineering systems. The dimensions between these two systems are uh, similar are the same but the units are different meter can be used to expressing the dimension of length in the si uh, units of systems while food can be used to expressing the dimension of 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 length in the american engineering systems pound mass for the dimension of mass while kilogram for the dimension of mass in the SI units of system. Seconds, you can see that the two systems share seconds to expressing the dimensions of time. Therefore, we have main dimension that I put here in the boxes. Main dimensions, mass, time, length and the drive dimensions that I put it in the ellipse. For example, mass flow rate is obtained by dividing the dimension of mass by the dimension of time. Velocity is obtained by dividing the dimension of length by the dimension of time. Sometimes we need to put a prefixes in order to make the units larger or smaller if we put 10 to power 3 this means kilo before meter this means kilometer and if you if we put 10 to power minus 3 before a meter this will be millimeters what is the mathematical what is the algebraic operation that can be uh, done with units you can add the similar dimensions for example 10 pounds can be added to 5 kilograms to 5 grams this is the dimension of mass and this is the dimension of mass but you must first convert pounds to grams or grams to pounds let us uh, see the another examples five kilograms can be cannot be added to three joules because this is the units of uh, mass dimension of mass and this is the units of energy so you cannot add or subtract the different uh, dimensions units can be multiplied or divided you can multiply or divide unlike units at will but you cannot cancel you cannot cancel or merge units unless they are identical for example a three square meter can be cancelled with centimeter but you must first convert either centimeters two meters or meters to the centimeters let us see another example here 
one foot cannot be added to three seconds this is the dimension of length this is the dimension of time this has no meaning but you in the another examples one horsepower can be added to 300 watts because this is the units of energy and this is the unit of energy but as I mentioned previously you must first convert either horsepower to watts or watts to horsepower what is what is the the what is the uh, how can you convert between these units you need uh, a conversion factors let us see the following example if a plane travels at a twist the speed of sound assume that the speed of sound is 1100 foot per second how fast is it going in miles per hour you can see that this is the velocity it is derived uh, dimension derived from the main dimension of uh, length by time you can convert it, it to another unit miles per hour you can use this arrangements this tables you can put the speed of airplane here and by using a conversion factor you can convert from foot to miles seconds to minutes minutes to hour until you can get your final answer in this examples you see that you can convert two kilometers to miles either by if you know the direct conversion factors that each 1.6 kilometer equal to one mile you can co convert it and get your answer and you can use the the, the long way if you don't uh, know the direct conversion factor this array can make the problem uh, simpler or simplify the problems you can uh, see here that each one kilometer equal 10 to power 5 centimeters so you can cancel kilometer with kilometer and so on another example here if you want to convert 400 cubic inch per day to uh, cubic centimeter per minutes the dimensions are the same but the units are different you know that the conversion factor between inch and centimeter is each one inch equal to 2.54 centimeter but you must note that this is this is a volume this is a derived dimension of volume therefore you should take the cubic value into account in order to get your final answer uh, the temperature also can be expressed either in the units of uh, American engineering systems or SI systems of units this is a conversion equation between degree ranking and degree Fahrenheit in the American engineering systems while here another equation that can be used to convert degree centigrade to the degree fahrenheit degree centigrade in the uh, international systems while degree fahrenheit in the uh, american engineering systems the pressure is forced by area so this is a derived unit therefore there is also a conversion factors between a pressure and you can use the same array and the same configuration in order to get your final answer thank you very much see you in the next lecture